You know, since we've been here, there's a structure that uh, has caught my curiosity. So located over there in the Dome Mountain Range, I've wondered for a long time, what is that structure? It appeared to me to be their private residence, a condominium complex, or perhaps some sort of a museum. Well, I wasn't too far off as far as the museum is concerned. It actually is an abandoned gold mill that was built back in the 40s and operated in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. It's a point of curiosity. I'm gonna send the drone over there. We're gonna see if we can make it. I know it's at least a mile. Five hundred feet down. What's it down? What? One hundred seventeen feet, one thousand feet downrange. Crossing over Tyson Wash. That's that long. Uh, Look like a riverbed. Fifteen hundred feet downrange. If I get an alert that I'm out of range, I'll have to bring it back. 2,000 feet downrange, crossing Tyson Wash. Twenty two hundred feet downrange, 110 feet high altitude. Okay, 3,000 feet downrange. A mile is 5,280 feet, so I'm not too far off. Okay, we're at 3,000, 3,100 feet downrange. 3,200 feet downrange, 110 feet high. 33. Incidentally, let me swing around here. That's Q Mountain there, and we will be climbing that, Cindy and I, and uh, wood scooters. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, I'm gonna take it easy. 3,500 feet. Certainly the drone is out of range. 3,600 feet down range, 3,700 feet down range, 3,700 feet down range. I'm gonna stop at 38 down range and that will be right there. Now we'll zoom in. Probably come over a little bit. Okay, let's zoom in on it. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. I'm not gonna go any further. There's no point in it. And we are going to investigate this. We're gonna drive, uh, see if we can find our way how to get there. tricky for a Toyota Corolla, but I think you could do it. Heck, it's I been... would stay a little bit to the right. There you go. This place is always... You're, you're this... good, yeah. Uh, right. We've been a lot worse places. We're making it. <laughs> you're doing good. Excuse me. I'm well, we made it over here. We found the road. I came in from this way. Q Mountain here. We'll be climbing that. That's I-10 way back in the background. That's the Dome Rock uh, mountain range. So we're going to go up here and check out the mine. Take us a little walk here. It's not as steep as it looks from a distance. And this is, like I say, this is the old Williams Gold mining operation actually it was a mill operation that uh, would pulverize the ore that was uh, delivered to them the temperature is perfect yeah and uh, that's it up there that's what's left of it beautiful day here look I'm gonna go around not one single cloud is in the sky. Not one. Well, where else would they be, right? 
guess gold floats, huh? Huh? I guess gold elevates. They're, yeah, right, they're up there with the metal detector. I said, I guess gold elevates. Oh, yeah, they're looking for gold up there. I got a metal detector. I just never use it. So I'm going to go down this way and look. Yep, this is the old, old operation here. Yep. Quite dangerous, actually. You can see that's collapsing. Shouldn't go under that. I actually went in a mine in uh, Montana and the thing collapsed on me. They had warning signs all over, but I didn't pay attention to it. Now here is the mine shaft entrance. Entry into the tunnel is prohibited. Okay. in here. Hope there's not a bear in here. Hello. <laughs> oh, here it is. I got it closed off. Shit. <laughs> Do you hear that? Wow. This is the hopper, and I suspect it's like a conveyor system. And then it would go down into this uh, this hopper, and I think that's probably where they loaded it. That's just uh, what I think. I don't know. Cindy girl. Somebody's looking for something. He's looking for something. He's picking up ore. Now you see all this right here is part of the mining operation. All this, all this metal, all this stuff, uh, these rock stuff. I said crush it, crush it to, uh, be this configuration and there's gold silver lead and tungsten and uh, fritted trace elements in here yeah nothing left but this structure and uh, a few stories Pretty day to get out. Really pretty. And we'll uh, go up on top. You know, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Uh, I try to get better at it. I don't always succeed, but if you do like them, subscribe to the channel and uh, we we'll really appreciate it. And we're going to go up on top here, see what's going on. It's 
beautiful day. I'm glad you're with us. Gorgeous day here in Quartzsite, Arizona. This is why we come here. Beautiful temperatures. February, I think, 16th, I think. 17th, maybe. We don't know. Let's go up here on top. digging for uh, gold. These people find gold here. There's still gold here, a lot of gold. Uh, I follow a site, Quartzsite Gold, and every day people come back with uh, quite a bit of gold. An ounce, maybe. Ooh. Okay. Well, look at this structure. We're we'll doing a little three sixty here. This Tyson Wash. When the monsoons come in the summer, that's like a raging river. Don't ever camp in a wash. This is all quartz right through here. Quartz down there. That's big. That's about eight by eight. It's a great big playground here. Play. Pardon me? He likes hiking. He does. He sure does. He's trying to get gold. What he did, he went under the uh, hopper there and found some remnants that, uh, that was left behind. Now he's trying to crack it open and see if there's any gold in it. They find it too. This is gold, there's gold all out here. It's just finding it. That's LTBA, the pose of Tyson Wash. And across the street way over there is LTBA, La Posa South. This is La Posa West, right here. 
then way back over there is La Posa North. So all of this that you see constitutes a little bit more than 11,000 acres. You pick a spot, you camp there. Plenty of room for any size rig. Stay here seven months for a total fee of $180. Beautiful weather in southern Arizona. I do want to show you something I bet most people have never seen is this beam y'all that beam I bet weighs 500 pounds that's a 12 by 12 beam I bet you couldn't drive a nail through that right here, right here. look at that it's at least I'd say 16 feet long What's he looking for? Gold. He Gold. said back when they were doing this, little pieces like that were no big deal <gasps> for the price. He said he's found it. He takes those rocks and crushes them up. And, uh, Did he find any? He has before, so he keeps doing it. Have you ever found any gold here? No, here, I haven't here. Pardon me? I've found other places. You have found gold here? Yeah. Really? What size? Well, I'll show you. You mind oh, yeah. if I put it on film? I don't care. <laughs> so he's going to show us the gold he found. So you dig through this remnant R. Look at that. Wow, that's what an ounce? No, that's uh, 2.71 grams. Oh, is it? And that's that's over a, <laughs> a month, lot of fun, isn't it? month and a half of, of <laughs> digging and prospecting and yeah you don't, it, <laughs> it don't come easy <laughs> like, well, like the old saying in order to, to mine gold you have to dig a lot of dirt yeah I mean a lot of dirt yeah. to get a little bit of gold <laughs> well like I said I've been here for like three months oh what a fun day 2. huh? 0.71 grams absolutely yeah, man. So. lots of luck lots <laughs> of luck I hope you find a 32 ounce <laughs> I hope I do too come on monkey and uh we're going to be going up that mountain. That's it. We're going to be climbing this thing. Whew, I'm 76 years old. I don't know, man. Scooter's 13, so. Uh, we'll see. Let's see what we get, you know. Hey, man, you, know, you don't know until you try, you know. I'll give it a shot. i try anything once. <laughs> Probably living out there somewhere. Oh, there's a car there. You're a good driver. <laughs> That's what we drive. Huh? Okay.